In this short video we're going to look at how we can enhance the quality of a recording that's been made. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is to import the recording that we want to improve. So I'm going to go to File and I'm going to go to Import rather than Open. If you choose File and Open then you'll get to open projects that you've been working on rather than to import pieces of audio into your projects. So File, Import Audio and I'm going to navigate to where the audio is stored. So I've got this Enhance Audio MP3. And as soon as it opens we can see two things. Well we can see one thing mainly that the file itself is very quiet. And if we listen to it we can hear you can hear it's very quiet and also potentially quite a lot of background noise. So we want to do at least two things with this file. We want to increase the volume and maybe address any background noise. So first one we'll do, we'll, we'll look at the um, volume first. Um, so to, to um, enhance a piece of audio, a little bit like Word, we need to select the piece of audio that we want to enhance and then um, choose what we're going to do with it. So I'm going to make the whole p um, audio file louder. So I'm going to go edit, select all. I could also just dragged and selected the whole thing or even just clicked here in the left hand um, panel of the audio file which will just select the whole thing. And I'm going to go to um, effect, amplify. And that brings up this box which will offer the maximum amount of amplification that's possible without the sound becoming distorted. Okay, if I try and move the slider further than this you'll see the grey the OK button becomes greyed out because at this point if I move to this if I amplify it by this much then there's going to be some distortion on the track. Okay so I'll move that back down to about 30. If for any reason you do need to increase more than the default amount um, then you need to select to allow clipping and that will allow you to amplify it by as much as you need. So click OK and you'll see instantly that both the, um, the audio file has got louder but also in this area here in the quiet bit when there's no one talking there's quite a lot of background noise. So let's just hear that noise for a second. So it's for sort of general room buzz, there might be a, a projector going or an air conditioner, the type of thing that you would uh, you, you often pick up when you're recording audio. Okay, so to get rid of uh, background noise, once we've made the sound file as loud as possible, what we need to do is first of all select a piece of the audio that is just the noise itself with no talking in it. And this is why it's always a good idea to record um, just quiet or the ambient noise uh, for a couple of seconds before you start talking. So I've got a nice long bit of um, background noise there. The bigger the better. And now I'm going to go to Effect, Noise Removal and I'm going to tell the computer that this bit is noise by clicking on get noise profile. Okay, so the computer now knows what noise sounds like. I'm now going to have a listen to see what it's going to sound like with that noise taken out. So I'm going to select a bit of audio that is the noise and the, um, the spoken bit as well. And I'm going to go effect, noise removal, and I'm, I can adjust this noise reduction slider to see how much noise we need to remove. So I'm going to put it about 16 and preview it and listen to see what that's going to sound like. Well, I think I have been um, with... Uh... So that sounds okay. I can remove no more noise. Well, I think I have been um, with... Uh... So you might notice as the noise reduction level increases that you do manage to um, remove more background noise but it has an impact on the quality of, vo of the voice that's left. So really it's a little bit of a trial and error and experimentation process. I'm going to put it around about 16, 17. Listen to that again. Well, I think I have been um, with... Uh... So I would say that the background noise there is tolerable and the voice is still nice and clear. Okay, and at this point I am not going to click OK. If I did click OK it would apply the noise reduction only to this selected area. Let's just have a look and see what happens. 
okay so this bit has got noise removed but the rest of the sound file hasn't so I'm just going to undo that and then before I apply that noise removal I need to select the entire file and now I can go edit uh, effect noise removal I was happy with the 17 level click OK and we'll see across the board the background noise is quieter Well, I think I have been um, with uh, in, an in another course. I have been, and the voice is still clear, and we haven't taken out too much of what it needs. Once you've removed noise, you may then want to add some more effects. For so, for example, you might want to amplify the track again because uh, the overall volume may have come down, or you might want to have an explore of either the bass boost or the compressor um, effects and just have a play around to see if you can improve it. If you apply something and you don't like what it does, remember you can always do Edit Undo.